Hi, my friends call me Lime and I want to help you perform even better in your videos. So let's talk about a request that I got in the comments of my last episode about storytelling. Neto Hikari said this. So what about playing a character on your channel? How do you do that on your channel without confusing your audience? I have a very opinionated personality in my YouTube channel, but in real life in a very revered and not very opinionated personality. But there are some overlap between Neto and myself. Can you make a video about this subject matter, please? So there are three different scenarios that I would like to talk about. In the first scenario, you are yourself. In the second scenario, you, you are yourself, but there is an image that you want to uphold and so you, you can't be yourself completely. And in the third scenario, you're playing a fictional character that you made up. Let's say these represent stories from my life. Now, if I am myself completely with no need to highlight any particular part of me, then I can just tell my viewers any one of these stories. However, if I have an image to uphold, then I just need to be more careful picking and choosing which of these stories that I tell. If I, for example, want to be seen as talkative, then I just need to think twice before telling lots of lots of stories about how quiet I can be, which shouldn't be a problem because there's so many other stories that I could be telling instead. Now, in scenario, in scenario 3, if I'm playing a fictional character that I made up, then I can of course also make up any story that I want. Now, if you want to keep a strong image, then remember, don't be perfect. Perfect isn't human and you want people to be able to connect with you. So what I'm saying here is that even if you want to be seen as talkative, then it can actually be a good idea to share stories about being quiet. I mean, maybe YouTube is one of the few places that enables you to be talkative. And that doesn't mean that you're not yourself. It just means that YouTube enables you to be yourself more. And I don't think that's confusing. Or maybe you, like me, want to talk about things that you've struggled with in the past in order to show why you are the person that you are today. Now, as this was a bit short, I wanted to end this session talking about how much work do you really need to put into a story? And the answer is not much. I mean, Annette Simmons writes in her book, The Story Factor, that the difference between giving an example and telling a story is the addition of emotional content and added sensory details in the telling. Greed caused a king problems is an example. King Midas and his ill-fated desire to turn everything he touched into gold is a story. And neither does a story have to be long. And to illustrate that, let's do this. It's behind you. Hurry before it. The end. Computer, did we bring batteries? Com computer? The end. Long for him, got him, shit. The end. Time machine reaches future, nobody there. The end. Leia says, congratulations, it's your baby. Luke says, uh, bad news. So, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the comments. Bye.